Oh shit, thank you for the super chat, Lefty. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Claire, thank you. Thank you for being a member for four months. I am still setting up. Bear with me, please. are not professional enough for the job hunt by whose metric some linkedin douchebag fuck linkedin man <laughs> You could do whatever. Well, you know, I, sh I shouldn't. <laughs> I shouldn't give you bad advice. You know, do what you think is best. You probably know way better than I do. But you know, the important thing is you've got the anime waifu profile picture in your heart, right? That matters more. Yo, Matthew, ain't that the freaking truth? Fuck John LinkedIn, man. That's where all the OLs are. <laughs> <laughs> Deep down inside every 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 red blood red blooded American with an anime waifu profile picture just wants an OL mommy to you know to to come home to <laughs> I don't know I don't fucking know Jess, you got a new job? Dude, yo, congrats, Jess. Yeah, capitalism bullshit, but you know. Congrats. It's a win. Omina, good morning. How you doing? How you doing? Bonnie, good morning. How are you? is ready to go i think i'm ready i have uh i have bgm i need to get like i need to dive through the royalty free websites and get like a good like a like a one to one to two hour playlist that i could like randomize and just play 
That would be like really good. Another list, another on the list of shit that I need to do that I'm just not gonna do because I'm so fucking, I'm so exhausted. You have to go to work, Cliff. I hope you have a good, you have a good day at work. You hear? Do I? Oh, that's, <laughs> that makes me really happy to hear it. Okay, 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 hold on. Are we good? I need to add YouTube chat. There you go. Are we good? We're good. The void. How's the BGM? Too much? Let's drop it down a little bit. A touch. He's still Nya. He voids us. <laughs> Milks, are you going to sleep? Good night. Good night. I had two choice. Why cat again? Uh, I forgot to take it off. To be perfectly honest with you, I forgot to take off the, uh, you know. The cosplay, so to speak. He cosplays for us. Did I ever tell you about the stupid idea that I had like three years ago? I was fucking stupid back then. Which one? Okay. I wanted to I wanted to try to start like uh like a can I send Valkus to Detroit? Send Valkus to Detroit. Send Valkus to Detroit. Okay, I had I had a idea for like starting like a trend on Twitter. It was an idea that I had. Um I think it's around like convention season, which is summer, right? Oh my god, <laughs> your your rogue trader your rogue trader emo just fucking kills me every time. It fucking kills me every fucking time. <laughs> Look at this fucking emote! <laughs> it fucking kills me every time. Okay. So I wanted to start a, a, a Twitter trend for VTubers. Like three years ago. And uh, the trend was like during con season, which is like mid-summer. I think like July-ish, right? I was gonna, I was gonna do like, uh, I was gonna commission a picture of myself in cosplay, and I was gonna cosplay Jinbei from from One Piece, and then it would have been like, oh yeah, like draw your own, draw yourself going to a convention in cosplaying, right? And then I was hoping other VTubers would like draw their own, you know, themselves in in cosplay. I didn't end up doing it because I fucking hate Twitter. <laughs> So, you know, it is what it is, right? Anyways. I have a lot of stupid ideas that I'd just be like, nah, that's dumb. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to... I drew you his Marcia from Dungeon Machine! Are you fucking kidding me? Hold on. Hold on. I have to stop looking at chat for a second. I have to go to this fucking... Where? Where? <laughs> Yo, there it is! This is pretty good! <laughs> this is pretty good! <laughs> Jinbei is too wholesome for you? Yeah, I guess so. That might be true. Rinal Vinyl, thank you for joining membership. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, did I miss something? I did! Matthew, thank you for the super chat. I have heard the whispers of the dark gods in the hobby lobby. The jar 
It could fit two armies. <laughs> I think we're doing a restock soon, right? The second batch of Orbeez made it over the uh, the ocean in a raft. They built a raft out of like scrap wood, and then they landed, and then there's gonna be there's gonna be more there's gonna be more Orbeez. Yeah, restock tomorrow. <clears throat> Want to know something crazy? Want to know something crazy? I don't have an Orbeez. <laughs> I, I wanted to buy one, but it, the first batch sold out, so I'm gonna have to buy one tomorrow. If it if it fucking sells out, I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna happen. I think Omina is like a master of like figuring out like how much to buy. So we're like comfy, and then I think she said that she's gonna she's gonna carry them at conventions. So like we have like we have like a buffer. Do you want one of mine? I'll ship to you. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I want to buy it. I want to buy it. It's going to sell out because Matthew keeps buying them all. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Dude off Kai. How to deliver it to him by way of siege engine. I. I. <laughs> Lando is like very sick right now, but I pitched him an idea and he didn't respond. I hope he does respond. I hope he does respond. I literally just pitched him an idea, like right now. I'm pitching it to him right now. Okay. All right. Good. Good, good luck. Tell Lando to take zinc. <laughs> Is it going to help? I don't think he's in Japan. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's still in Japan. Probably not. Overnight cure. Huh. Interesting. How's everybody been? How's everybody been? Tell him to buy his spear. No, I wanna I wanted to go to a, a local Home Depot and, and build a catapult with Lando like a working catapult like a big one did I tell you the story about my brother and I how we used a like a tree like a like a small tree that had just been planted as a catapult at our park that shit was stupid a ballista is too difficult I think a ballista requires like actual engineering <laughs> Yo, Matthew, you got your fight voucher? That's good. I'm happy to hear it. Like, Omina did us all a big solid by, like, going through and then figuring that out. I don't know how she figured out, like, who missed out on a on a thank you card. I think uh, for the restock, we're going to use the same thank you card. And then I'm going to do a new one. I'm going to new. I'm going to do a new one for the for the other merch drops. And they're going to be I'm going to try to make them crazier. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to, you know. <clears throat> I was thinking about drawing myself as Donkey Kong with a fat ass and be like, you may spank it once, right? What do you think? <laughs> no? Is it a no? Do you veto that? <laughs> no? <laughs> just didn't know I'm going back to bed <laughs> Bobo, thank you very much for the super chat any plans on playing Dragon's Dogma 2 I need to play Dragon's Dogma 1 
I already made you and Lando as the pawn in the pre-release character creator. I need to play Dragon's Dogma 1, and I have so many long games that I need to play. I need to finish Disco Elysium. I need to finish Rogue Trader. I need to finish... Is there another game? I, I still want to beat Knights of the Old Republic because that's like the game of my childhood. You know? I have a lot of fucking games that I need to beat. It's crazy. Yo, Velvet Poltergeist. Thank you for joining membership. Thank you, thank you. Play Dinkum? What is Dinkum? <sighs> Dragon's Dogma 2 is just updated. Dragon's Dogma 1 TBH, not fundamentally different. Okay, okay, okay. We literally did not, Amos. We didn't get off fucking Terrace at all. I didn't even rescue Bastila. I didn't even rescue Bastila, you know? You know what's weird? I had a weird fucking thought. Extremely weird. Extremely fucking weird. No HK47. I had a weird thought about Bastila. When I played Coder for the very first time, when I was in high school, I thought Bastila was mommy. I was like, oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, right? And I'm thinking about Bastila now in this year of our orb, 2024. And it's like, she's like a little girl to me. I'm thinking about like Bastila and like her story. She's like a, she's like a tiny little child in my mind. It's like, wow, Bastila, you're like a baby now. You're like a kid. Isn't that weird? Brandon, never say mommy like that ever again. All right. I can't promise that I'll try, but I'll try to try. Okay. Okay. Look at me. Look at me, Corona. Look at me. I'm the mommy now. I'm the mommy. <sighs> oh, that's good tea. Zoe, that's what it's like to have a random stream going in public, at work, or at home if you've got people with an earshot. You have to have your finger on the, the volume button or the mute button. Be ready to mute at a moment's notice because I might say shit. I might say, I might say shit that would lower your reputation in the ears of anybody that's unfortunate enough to, to hear, right? That's just the way that you, you gotta, you know? I just tossed my phone on the ground. I'm on my ninth phone this month. <laughs> I'm imagining like Daimao is taking like a, a stroll along the harbor, you know, like a waterfront, wearing like an expensive pea coat, very, very fashionable, very cool. And then like, he's listening to me on his phone. And then on the phone, it's like, Oh, mommy. And then he fucking throws the phone into the harbor, into the water. And then you hear a bunch of fish go, what the fuck? Like out of the water, like a bunch of fish are like, what the fuck? What do you think? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bro, can I talk about something that got me freaking stoked? Unless it was a unless it was a fake post, unless it was a juke out, and and I am a fool and I've fallen for it. Did they announce Steel Ball Run? Did they announce JoJo Part Seven animated? That's like dead ass my favorite arc. I love it. I named both of my bikes after the main character's horses. Did I get did I get faked out? I got one gun! I'm so mad. I want to freaking kill myself. I got trolled. Oh, fuck me. I want to fucking... I want to make... I want to make end myself. God damn it. The fan trees... It's a fan teaser? Fuck. I... F 
fucking love Steel Ball Run so much. Lottie, good morning. How are you? Get dunked on? Oh my god. Listen. Listen. I had an idea for a video. I need to fucking do this shit. Akashi, are you here? I have an idea for a video. All right. There's a Simpsons bit. There's a Simpsons bit that I love, right? Where it's like, oh, I've got a, I've got a friend who needs help. It's like, oh, what's your, what's your friend's name? Oh, my friend's name is uh, Joey Jojo Joerson Shabadoo, right? And then <laughs> Moe's like, Homer, that's the stupidest name I've ever heard. And like a dude that's been sitting at the bar, he doesn't have a, like, he's never been introduced. He just runs out crying. And then Barney's like, Joey Jojo, right? I want that and then turn it into like a Jojo meme. Wouldn't that be like the craziest fucking, I don't know. Maybe I'm an idiot. Homer, that's the stupidest name I've ever heard. <laughs> Joey Jojo. Sounds complicated. Yo, Red Raven, thank you for the super chat. David Animations do their JoJo announcements in April if there's a new part being released. So hold out hope until then, I hope. Dude. Part seven is my favorite, it's so good. I remember reading the incredibly shitty Japanese to Chinese to English translations. It was really bad, and I remember what, reading it in, in college, I think, or right after college, and I was super sleep deprived, <laughs> and it was like a fucking fever dream, man. That shit was crazy. About that super chat, please be wary of April Fool's post. I... If I was a Pokemon in April Fool's post, any type of April Fool's joke would have like quad weakness, you know? Like both, both of my elemental types are weak to April Fool's jokes. There's no fucking way Four Milks' birthday is on April Fool's. That's crazy. How much, how much do you get clowned on for that? That's fucked up. If I was like Mpreg and I was due on April 1st, I'd rather push that sucker out the day before or a day after, you know? That's fucked up. Her birthday's not on 420, you psycho. Do you know how many idiots would be like, oh, happy birthday, April Fools! <laughs> I'm the first guy to ever fucking do that. I would. I would, I would just go fucking postal, man. I would just go crazy. Dutch chairman, thank you very much for the super chat. Here's six euros for a lawnmower. Get one of those that you can ride so you can be the coolest orc in the neighborhood. If I, I, all right. I think I, I think I should self ban myself from a riding lawnmower. <laughs> I would get up to some shit. You know what I'm talking about? I would like Mad Max that shit out. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Beru. Hello. Good morning. Beru Flower. Thank you for stopping by. I would add like a top rail and then add spikes on the top. You know? Witness me! Witness! Randon, do you own a chainsaw? Yes, I do. I do. <laughs> I have a funny story about that. I do have a chainsaw, but I have a funny story. Okay. I was... I was biking across Navajo Nation and I stopped off at like a, like a grocery store slash... Yo, Zerker! Good morning, good morning. You guys know Zerker? Zerker is Fleshy's mod. Yo, happy to see you. 
Okay. So uh, there's, there's, a, there's a supermarket in Navajo Nation and they had a little bulletin board. I don't know if you know this or not, but like the bulletin board is like a big thing when you get out of like big cities, suburbs. When you're in the middle of nowhere, like the local store, general store, grocery store, supplies and stuff like that, they have a bulletin board and like there's a lot of shit there, right? So there was one, there was one sign at the bulletin board and it and it said yo sushi good morning i'm, I'm giving you my my chainsaw story it said professional chainsaw sharpening go behind the it literally said this it said go behind the store and ask for larry right and i was like hmm right So I go behind the store and then, you know, there's like two or three open doors and there's like nobody there, right? There's nobody behind the store. So I start shouting, Larry, Larry, there was nobody behind the store, lovely son. I had to ask and then a dude comes out and he's like, you need a chainsaw sharpen? And I was like, no. And he looked at me like I was, because I'm bicycle touring. I don't have a chainsaw. I'm on a bike with like camping gear. And he's like, then why the fuck did you call me? <laughs> and I was like, I wanna, I wanna watch the next chainsaw that you sharpen. And he called me a fucking idiot and went back in the store. <laughs> he called me a fucking idiot to my face and he walked back in the store. <laughs> he called. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Larry, all right. <laughs> Luna Strea, thank you very much for the super chat. Remember when I said I wouldn't be able to defend you at work if I didn't wear earphones because of your unhinged comments? That entire Empreg April Fool's segment is why shaking my head. But come on, <laughs> Luna, come on. <laughs> I'm with Larry on this one. He didn't use it. Gwen, didn't you listen? He doesn't have the chainsaw. He sharpens the chainsaw professionally, right? Brandon, who's the father? I'll tell you when you're older, Doc. He called me a fucking idiot. <laughs> he asked me if I had a chainsaw to sharpen and I said no. He said, why the fuck? Why did you call me? And I said, I wanted to watch him char sharpen a chainsaw. <laughs> and he called me a fucking idiot. <laughs> I do deserve it, I guess, in theory. In theory, I deserve a lot of things, but I don't get it, you know? Larry isn't gonna share his secrets to you for free. I would have paid him like a tenner. I would have paid him like a tenner. I would have paid him a tenner. Dutch Chairman, thank you very much for the super chat once again. Do it, get a rideable lawnmower. I dare you, no, I double dare you. No, I triple dog dare you. To get a rideable lawnmower? Shit. Okay. Dutch chairman, I have to level with you. I don't have a lawn. That's the main reason why I'm not going to get a lawn. Because I don't have a... I crashed on my fort lift. <laughs> Lugia, no! No. <laughs> LaFish, thank you for being a member for five months. Apparently you can get free road flares on construction sites. You mean like just yoink the ones that are lit? How long do those stay lit? Unused, of course. If they're unused, what would I use it for? This, this fucking, this PGM Fox, dude. 
I'm just, I'm just hanging out. Okay, good. Woo! You can take the flares from construction sites. They're free. I have 458 road flares. What the fuck are you doing? This is penis music? What are you talking about? Yo, Dice, thank you for being a member for five months. Remember Pimp My Ride? Why don't you start Pimp My Lawnmower and have a lawnmower with nitrous boosters and a power steering? If I had a riding lawnmower, the the Mad Max thing is bullshit. It's too expensive. Hold on, let me think. What would I do with my riding lawnmower? I'm like imagining sitting in it and the way that it's shaped. I would add a front part. I would add a front part that looks like a speeder bike from Star Wars Return of the Jedi. And then I would wear, you know what I'm talking about? The scout, the speeder scout dude. And I would mow the lawn like that. And then I would get fucking destroyed by a bunch of little furries, right? You're becoming a Warhammer or I wish. I wish. Install a dash cam and stream with it. Do you remember the King of the Hill episode where Hank <laughs> had his entire lawn fucking destroyed by Dale? And then he had a tiny little patch of grass that he was like, and he could only mow that tiny little patch. That's me. I'm going to buy like four patches of grass and then just mow it sadly, you know? What color would you paint it? Red, so it goes faster. Yo, Pasakun. I think it was a super chat. Good morning, good morning. What's up, Brandon? The local convention is in town next week and I need more dumb bits to do with my Dorothy cosplay. Any ideas? Okay, let me think. Let me think. This is a good cosplay, by the way. Let me think. What bits could you do? Uh, carry around a giant a giant sign on a signboard that says do not fist the android you know what i'm talking about it's got like a hand and a bunch of gears are like chewing up the hand what do you think have you already done that you might have already done that lot you wouldn't dare i know the one <laughs> The mangler! <laughs> yeah, if anybody... <laughs> Signs are banned! Oh, man! Is it because of the... Is it because of the Christians that are, like, outside of every convention? You know, I think that's fair. If it gets rid of those guys, I guess it's worth it to ban all signs. All the Yahweh paddle incidents, that's true, that's true. You're right. Yo, Himawari, thank you very much for the super chat. Himawari, we're 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 trying to figure out something weird to do as a bit at a con. Thank you, Renner, for never failing to make me laugh. <sighs> that's a huge win in my book. Thank you. Like that alone just made the stream worth it. If I could make like, you know, a couple people laugh. One or two. I use my Yahweh paddle for good only. That's funny. Hold on. What's a good bit for a Dorothy cosplayer to do? Let me think. Randon, would you sit in a cage above a runescape fire? I would. I would. Didn't some people get paralyzed by people going full baseball swing on them? Did they? I know... Some unfortunate soul got paralyzed at TwitchCon because the ball pit had no floor. It was just, you know. That's crazy. That's like a cricket bat. It's like a cricket bat. All right. We got to figure out like a good bit.
No, we're not talking about Yaoi pedals. The concrete. Weren't there multiple injuries from that from TwitchCon? Consecutive years? That's crazy. What is wrong with people? What the fuck is wrong with them? No signs. That's crazy. What do I remember about Valhalla? What do I remember about Dorothy? Dorothy! <laughs> Dorothy! My butthole clenched up every time Dorothy came into this. I was like, ah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I'm gonna have to do like no comment, no comment, no comment, no comment, no comment, no comment. Oh, thank God Dorothy's gone. That's what I remember about Dorothy. Light bulbs, let's go. She's afraid of corgis. Okay, okay, okay. She leaves an impression. <laughs> she has guns in her fingers. Oh, I remember that. Yo, Cyrus Orca. Hello. Good morning. How you doing? How you doing? She's terrified of Rad Sheba. Hello, you're shouted out by Big Yo Bog. I love Bog. Bog has like a 10 out of 10 design, immaculate. I've known Bug for like three years now. That's kind of crazy. I remember. You're just getting up at 2 p.m.? Uh, you know, I can't, I can't knock it, but Nobody is going to break my sleep schedule where like I try to wake up as early as I can. It's not going to happen. I can't think of a... I guess they're like clamping down on stuff that you could do at cons. That sucks. You know what's better than getting up at 2 p.m., 4 p.m.? Oh my god. Yo, Pup Brother, you're going for an interview? Good luck. Good luck, good luck. I have, I had like a technique for interviewing, but it requires you to be able to be, it requires you to be dumb enough for you to trick yourself, which I don't think you are, but it worked for me. I'm able to like trick myself into thinking a certain way even though it's like not true you know what I'm talking about pop brother don't listen to him Danshi do you want to hear my advice I was able to trick myself into thinking that I had already gotten an offer and then I would go into the interview yeah I would gaslight myself into thinking that I had already gotten an offer and then I was going into an interview already knowing that like I had one place that already wanted me and I was just doing it to see, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretending, right? But it's more than pretending. It's like, uh, I don't tell them that I have an offer. It's just like an internal thing where I'm, you know, lying to myself. Yeah, Vide, isn't that the freaking truth? When you already have an offer, you're just so much more like confident, right? Yeah. Does it work for dates? I wouldn't fucking know. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> I've got a debate in class today. What should I do if I run out of points? Name calling and slander? Should I use a Southern drawl? Songbird? If you run out of points in a debate, 
This is what you do, okay? Whenever they're talking, smile smugly and go, hmm, interesting. All right. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't disagree with them. Don't say no, 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 go, interesting. <laughs> yeah, do the Elon. <laughs> Do it. Attack their character? No, 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 no. Brandon, I heard that you smell. Is that true? Are you stinky? All right. I'm going to hit you guys with the, the true lore. Thank you for the question. Squid boy 420 X666. <laughs> fucking name. I am stinky. I am. It's the truth. Like I'm a... Like I have, like, I think I smell worse than the average person, which is why I shower twice a day. Like I shower in the morning when I wake up and I shower at night before I get into bed. It's a lot of shower and uh, people people have told me bro you can't do that that's a waste of water that's not good for the environment it's like i know but i try to do other things that are good for the environment my skin is pretty dry i'm not gonna lie it is pretty dry let me get a whiff to make sure no no <laughs> i'm not even gonna make a bit about it i don't want anybody to smell me moisturize i have a i have a humidifier in my room i could hear your dry ass hands yeah they're pretty dry rate your stink on a stink meter let me think if one if a zero is zero stink and a one is like, uh, you know, like new, new clothing out of the factory. It's got that like chemical smell and a 10 and a 10 is like a corpse that's been in like a porta potty for three months. I would say I'm like a two. I would say I'm like a two. Why do you know what that smells like? I'll tell you when you're older, Stacy. All right. Two isn't that bad. <laughs> That's the most psychotic response I've ever heard. I love it. I'm going to use that. <laughs> it's pretty good. I just got here. Why is this guy talking about? Because some, cause some person, some dude was asking if I'm it was a squid boy 420x666 is asking me how stinky I am. Wait, do other people t have other people told you that you smell or do you dislike and notice the smell of yourself? Um, let me think. Has anybody told me that I smell? No. As a child, my mom told me that I smelled a couple times. She's like, go shower, you smell. But I think as an adult, nobody's ever told me that. But I can smell and I dislike my own smell. It's true. The fish, thank you very much for the super chat. Carry around ammonia and bleach if people say you smell. Mix them to make a stronger smell. Does that make like mustard gas or something? 
Adults don't really say that to other adults. I guess it's true. I guess it's true. Probably. Oh my god. Stop trying to kill the orc. Joke's on you, asshole. I love mustard. Oh, they finally have my favorite condiment in gas form. Mmm, delicious. Science is amazing. I make it and I die. <laughs> Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Ooh, the tea is good. It's good. Meep. Meep, welcome to Randonite. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I can see that being a good stream bit. I wanted to get Goblin Stone, but the freaking... Freaking Steam is down for me. It's not down. I can't add anything to my cart. When are we getting ketchup gas? Fuck. Are those the Northern Lights? <laughs> What's my favorite Simpsons bit that I just got reminded of? Ah! Oh no! Bette Midler! <laughs> like, Bette Midler is like a freaking hippie and she's like picking up garbage on the side of the highway and she fucking throws a can of beer like a grenade. I'll get you for this, Bette Midler! <laughs> This is a good one. <laughs> the Filipinos not giving you firm swing. It's not, it's not, it's not the devs. It's definitely Steam that's like fucky wucky. I can't buy anything on Steam. They're having like a sale and maybe they like, they reached cap or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> you asked them not to let me buy it? How could you? How could you? Just email Gaben. I actually, there's a, there's a famous story about Gaben, but I don't know whether it's myth or it's true. I don't know whether it's myth or true. So I need people that are more in tune with reality to give me the heads up. As to whether it's like a fake story or a real one. All right, dice. Ready? I heard a story that early on in Steam's history as a as a as an app, it got hacked, right? It got hacked. And the hacker was like gloating about it, and then Gaben was like, "I can't believe you hacked it. You must be a genius. Come on over to the US and I want to give you a job." And the dude was like, "Oh shit, I get to work for Steam." And then he came over to work for Steam and then Gaben just had him arrested. <laughs> he literally just arrested the fucker like as he got off the plane. <laughs> I don't know whether that's true or not. Is it true? It's a famous legend, but I don't know if it's true. I don't know if it's true. It's true, all of it. Jebated. That'd be snakery. <laughs> it actually happened. It actually happened. Is that exactly how it happened? Honestly, I would have fallen for it too. Hmm. It must be fake. Gaben wouldn't snitch. It's from the Half-Life 2 leak. What? How do you get arrested for leaking a game? They offered him a job interview. He data mined the Half-Life files or something. Oh. Hit him with a PSYOP. Had him arrested at the interview. <laughs> oh shit, he stole the source code for Half-Life 2. That was funny. Gabe's password for the server was Gaben. <laughs> That's why they call him Gaben. <laughs> I 
It's pretty funny. <laughs> Isn't isn't Gaben like super into deep sea exploration? Doesn't he own like a Giga Chad submarine that can go like all the way down into like the Mariana Trench or some bullshit? There should be a Dave the Diver mod, Gaben the Diver, and Dave is just modded to look exactly like Gaben. No, no, it's both James Cameron and Gaben. They're both into like deep sea exploration. Gaben famously said publicly that his password for Steam was, and no one has been able to hack it. What? Wait, was that Gaben? No, no, no. Both, both James Cameron and Gaben have like crazy deep sea submarines. Yeah. I think they know each other. It's like a very small and elite group. Oh, no, 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 it's not the Titan sub because he's actually like, <laughs> he's actually competent. It's, it's not going to be a repeat of that because Gaben is actually like quite competent at, at He doesn't use a steam controller for his submarine. The kid who leaked Half-Life 2 hacked Valve, stole the source files before leaking to the internet. That's why they had him arrested when he set foot on US soil. Yeah, that guy. It's pretty funny. <sighs> he uses a Steam Deck to control it. Okay. I want to say something. And if you if you have a Steam Deck, I don't want you to be mad, okay? What's, what's the point of a Steam Deck? What's, I don't understand the point. I feel like I've been using a PC my entire life. I can't imagine not having like, you know, like a keyboard and a, and a mouse and a nice big monitor and a comfy chair. What is, what is the point? It's like a really portable PC. I don't even like laptops. Why would I like an even more portable, you know? You ever just want to rot in bed playing Noida? That's a good question. I don't like laying down in bed. <laughs> this is a psycho thing to say. I don't like laying down in bed because that's where they expect you to be, you know? Sometimes I just add a bunch of pillows to my bed and then I sit in the closet and wait for somebody to come in and try to kill me in my sleep. And then I, I get them from the closet, you know? Who's they? You know, you know. There's a couple people in my chat right now they know. It's them. They're waiting. It's the fucking feds, man. <laughs> it's not the feds. Don't worry about it. It's a psycho response. <sighs> Deidre, hello. Good morning. <laughs> This is some shit my grams would say when she was alive. <laughs> Saku, I'm going to hit you with the reverse streamer question, right? <laughs> Saku, I'm going to hit you with the disrespectful streamer question. That sounds fucking awesome. Is your grams single? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so disrespectful. Ignore me. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> the absolute disrespect. 
<laughs> Don't worry about that, Saku. I know a guy. I know a guy. I know, uh... You know? I know an unlicensed necromancer. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> she carries the mag. <laughs> Anyway, a guy for your chain star <laughs> chain slush. I, that I deserved. That I deserved. There was also ah. Should I talk about it? You know, I I loved the se first season of Jujutsu Kaisen, but I don't think I I fell off the wagon and I haven't been following it. You know, it's one thing that made me really fucking sad going through Navajo Nation. And if I ever like have money to spare or like if I started like a charity, I, you know, some people do start charities, right? There's like a, there's like a big, um, stray animal problem. There's like a bunch of dogs that are just like in the wild, you know, it just really made me sad. I remember biking and giving like beef jerky to like just stray dogs like everywhere right and then every time i had to leave them behind they would like follow alongside my bike and like i'm on i'm in a tent like i can't i can't keep the dog so eventually i would just like you know that shit that shit hurt real bad it would it killed me like I would just be like fucking heartbroken in my tent every night. So I don't know like what, I don't know like what the solution to that is. I think in my, in my stupid brain that like doesn't know nuance, cause this might be considered like really disrespectful, but like if you could start like a shelter with it, like with the permission and like, you know, this with the permission and the support of like, you know, the, you know, the nation, like they let you do it. And then if you could, if you could, um, you know, like spay, neuter, look after them and then adopt them out. But you would probably need to adopt like outside the nation, right? Like to like, I don't know, Phoenix or something like that. Would that be considered like fucked up? Like you're stealing their dogs? I don't know. I don't know what like the, the right way to do it is, but like it fucking broke my goddamn heart. Like there's so many stray dogs and like I was, it's, they're they're like starving they're like super skinny you know no nano this is a crazy thing i talked to a sheriff i talked to i talked to a sheriff in navajo nation and he said the entire navajo nation is gigantic it's huge right there's there's like four animal shelters in all of navajo nation and they're like completely full they they have like and like i think he said two of them they don't even have cars like they don't have a vehicle to drive around they have two vehicles for four shelters in all of Navajo Nation, which is like fucking sad, man. That is really sad. I stole a dog once in a moral way. Tell me more. Tell me more. How did you steal a dog in a moral way? No, Gwen, I think it's just like the way that I heard it from the people that live there is just like they they should i say it i don't know like they just let the animals out like dogs and cats they they love them they take care of their dogs but they kind of just like there's no fences there's no there's no yard they just like let their dogs out and then sometimes their dogs just get lost and never come back you know they, they do take care of their animals very well up to the point, but it's just like not a part of the people that live there to have like indoor animals. They don't have that, you know? And then like a dog would just get lost or a cat would get lost and they never, they never find their way back home. Yeah, they wander off and like, you know, you, you, you have like movies and stories about dogs that find their way home against impossible odds, but that's like a one in one in like 10,000. Like most dogs like can never find their way back. Right.
Her owner was not taking care of it all. She was always on the street and had no hair. So free dog, not like he knew anything. That is pretty moral, you know? I, I would, I, I approve of that. Not that you need my approval. I'm an idiot on the internet, but I think, I think you did good. I think you're based. I am not a stray. I am not a stray. I am a proud... I am a proud panther, and I will be respected. I see all of you as prey. You know? <laughs> I'm king of the jungle. I'm ferocious, but still social. Never do that again. All right, daddy. I will, I will not do that. Why the fuck do I get a call, get called a cat when you exist? I don't know. Careful if you're lactose intolerant. I don't think I'm lactose intolerant. I do love, I do love me a good cheese. I had an idea for a stream and then I told Akashi about it and he's like, Whatever you want, man. <laughs> so maybe I should run it by you guys first before I, I do a stream, all right? It was either going to be smash or pass or marry, fuck, kill serial mascots. Give me, give me the scoop. What do you guys think? And I would do, I would use serial mascots from around the world. So I would do the ones where I live, but then I would also let like people in the Discord show me like, oh, this is a serial icon from where I live, right? Yes, please. <laughs> the orbs will judge your bits. You just want to fuck Tony the tiger? I don't know. He's kind of a jock. <laughs> Killers. <laughs> this is so insanely disrespectful. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 like cereal, breakfast cereal. Do not. So I had this idea, I had an idea because I thought I had an idea for a one minute meme video. And I was gonna pitch it to Lando. I had a one minute idea. I had an idea for a one minute meme video. I was gonna pitch it to Lando and then I turned into this tier list, you know, Smasher Pass cereals, right? Do you know the, do you know the, the little elves that are for um, Rice Krispies? You know what I'm talking about? You know the little elves that are like Rice Krispies? Lando and his crew dress up as those guys, right? Snap, crackle, and pop. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like Lando and his crew, they dress up as snap, 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 crackle, and pop, right? And then like, there's like, they're reading, they're reading people do like, Mary fuck kill and one of them one of them is like always kill and then he starts having a mental breakdown because everybody wants to kill him that's my idea for like a meme video right like he gets so fucking angry and then he starts like actually crying and then it zooms in on his face and he's like tearing up It's like Crackle, like everybody wants to kill Crackle, right? And he's just like crying, right? He's like, I'll take a fuck or a Mary, like, please, just one. Don't you think that would be funny? <laughs> no, 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 Arigato. I think it'd be so funny if it was like live action. Cause they have clothing that you could very easily dress up as, right? They have the little like cone hats, right? 
<laughs> Bacon Slayer, thank you very much for the super. <laughs> thank you very much for the five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you. Not gonna lie, that would be messed up. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. No, that's awful. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I love it, but it's horrifying. <sighs> that's the idea that I had in my head for a meme video, but then it turned it a <laughs> new low. <laughs> it also transformed from like, uh, like, you know, like me, Ribians, and Devatar. Mary fuck kill, and it's always kill at me. And then I start to have a mental breakdown, and it's like, what the fuck? I'm the streamer. <laughs> it's okay if I'm the butt of the joke, right? I don't know. Anyways, the tier list kind of makes sense, right? Tier list? Tier list? I would need to make the tier list of serial mascots and then I would... Oh shit, Fleshy's here! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Makes sense I would watch that. Alright. Maybe I'll do it this week, maybe I'll do it next week. I need to get the tier list made and then I'll do it. Fourth option, cast rate. Don't worry about it, Fleshy. There's just a bunch of antis in my chat. Kaiju tier list. That's a good one. Kaiju tier list. I like Ghidra. King Ghidra is my favorite. Ratchet. Thank you for joining membership. Thank you, thank you. Kaiju tier list. A randomite tier list. Oh yeah, that'll end well. Yeah, that'll end well. I'd smash most kaiju for TBH. <laughs> randomite tier list is just two hours. No, 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 no. A randomite tier list is... Everybody is my favorite Randonite, except for the Dark Triad. And then the Dark Triad gets Dark Triad tier, right? The Gray Zone. I'd smash the fuck out of Mothra. Mothra, Mothra's the moth mommy. Yeah. Mothra always dies though, you know? Oh shit. Oh shit, this BGM is going hard. Randon, what if I make three dark triad randonite stickers? Only those three get, that's crazy. That would be wild. <laughs> that would cost so much money just for a bit, right? That might be worth it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. The all right, Omana, the three the three members of the Dark Triad are are Daimao, Sushi, and Taco. It's those three. They're the ones that are constantly like, let's kill him. They're constantly like, let's kill him. With a K. With a K. No, Ved? Ved is the straight shooter. <laughs> Ved is the one that's like dead serious and, and always tells us how it is. And sometimes you need that. You need to be grounded, right? So she is justified. How could you say that? Andy, you're my favorite randonite. How could you take Sushi's side over mine? How could you do that? Anston is his own thing. I wonder if I've gone up or down in the rankings. 
You're my favorite. You're my actual favorite Red Knight. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Humble yourself, old man. I'm your least favorite streamer. How could you say that to me? Dude, why does this fucking BGM slap so hard? What's going on? He picks favorites! I honestly thought that Anston was a part of the Dark Triad. No. Oh shit, it's like One Piece BGM now. You're my favorite streamer, the only one I want. Pop Brother! I will always be grateful for your advice in fear and hunger. I will always remember. I can't believe you'd pick favorites. <laughs> At this point, I'm not sure whether Anston is a bot or not. I can't tell. I feel like the real Anston just made a bot and left, right? Just to be like a gadfly, a thorn in my side. Casual Bree, thank you for the super chat. Morning, Gramps. Yesterday was my birthday. Yo! Happy birthday. I had a great time with some friends. Hope you had a good day. Out of curiosity, read any web novels? I don't think I, I can recall any web novels that I read. Happy birthday, though. Any web novels that I've read? I used to read... <laughs> Have you seen, like, fully original work on fanfiction.net? I used to read that, which is kind of a web novel, I guess. Oh, web novels are definitely a thing. Rose, I want a lawnmower so bad, and I don't have a lawn. It's like a boss battle, but the encounter the Dark Triad have been summoned. Varson, thank you very much for the super chat. Renan, why did I see a clip of you doing an orange fight to mimic a snowball fight? You could have just made mud balls out of anything. Um, How do you describe it? Well, the, why, the reason why you wouldn't use a mud ball is... They, they like, you can't really like transport them. Like the kids in the neighborhood all had oranges in our backpacks and we would like be throwing them at each other. And we all had orange trees in our backyard that were producing these oranges that were like not fit to eat. Cause you have to like fertilize the tree or some shit like that. Or you have to like prune it. You have to prune it and fertilize it a certain way or the orange that's produced is like not sweet enough for consumption. So it's just like a bunch of fucking oranges that would rot and do nothing. Yeah. That's just, it's just, we're dumb. We're dumb. Yo, Coach Zed, thank you for the super chat. You're my least favorite orc streamer who happens to be named Randon. Oh my God. I'm going down in ranking. <laughs> Matthew, thank you for the super chat. Randon, have I gone up or down in ranking since I put Orby in the jar? Sounds like ranking of Kings, but with the Randon, you've gone up, up. I think the jar bit, is fucking hilarious. I only read fix about Gary from SpongeBob. Okay, let's make a let's make a There's at least three other randoms I like better. Oh no. Oh no. Let's make a Gary fanfic. Okay, Love Triangle, Pepe Le Pew, the cat that Pepe Le Pew is trying to, you know, trying to get with, and then Gary, right? So the cat loves Gary, Gary loves Pepe, you know? And it's like heartrending. What do you think? I'm out. No head, please. <laughs> to be a little come on suddenly bl i'm leaving it sounds like the next great american novel oh my god i had an idea i had an idea i passed it on to any one of you guys that's gonna make like the next great novel next great like young adult novel that's gonna replace Harry Potter. Okay, hold on. S, thank you very much for the super chat. Lawnmower fun, thank you. I need to get a lawn first, but I appreciate that. 
Okay. What if... What if it's like... Like a magic... Like a urban fantasy like magic novel about a character that becomes like a, like a magician or whatever. And they become a magician because their grandma dies and their grandma was like eccentric and rich and everybody's like stealing her shit. Like her, the main character's family is full of a bunch of dirtbags and they're like yoinking everything that the grandma owned, right? Okay. And the main character is the only one that's good and they adopt the grandma's cat, right? Right? And the grandma's cat is a talking cat. And that cat teaches them how to use magic. Boom! Boom! That's the beginning of your urban fantasy story. I'm so lost. So Sailor Moon, exactly like Sailor Moon. That sounds interesting, you should write it. Unfortunately, I'm a shit tier writer. It needs a primary villain. The primary villain. The primary villain. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me think about it. Let's make a primary villain. It's the zoning board. Sounds like a Christian ripoff of Harry Potter. <laughs> so Harry Potter. <laughs> the school headmaster who eats cinnamon. Hold on. The primary villain by the random player. And have you ever played Hades? I have, but I'm very bad at it. I've never beaten Hades. The primary villain's a lawnmower? No. I refuse. <laughs> Hear me out, lawn meower. It's pretty good, Baba Nana. We need to think of like a villain, right? A kid who likes to hurt animals? Hold on, hold on. The primary villains of the Dark Triad? No, 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 no. We have to make it like an actual villain. Hold on, let me think. You guys are memeing. The primary villain will not be a raccoon with a gun. That will be the mascot, the lovable mascot. kid with too much power no 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 a psychopathic child who's also his age and a wizard could work that could work that could work Okay. Make it the kid's grandpa. Okay, the the villain of the first novel is the head of the HOA that governs the the block that the grandma's house is on. What do you think? The head of the HOA. <laughs> A lawyer for a faction of the kid's family who wants the cat? That's pretty good. The raccoon owns an air fryer! Everybody goes to that raccoon's house for, uh, for potato skins, you know? Dude, it's a Baba Yaga wizard house with the chicken legs. We've made it. A delightful children from down the lane. <laughs> Simpsons did it! They did, you're right. You're right.
My face hurts. <laughs> a cat lich. That could work. I think if we go like further into the series, it's like a second and third book. Like the, the main character, they meet more magicians, right? And they're like, who taught you? It's like, oh, my cat taught me. And then they're like, like we could go two ways. They could either just be like, oh, rad. Or they could be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and there's like nothing in between. It's either like, what? Or like, oh, cool. Radical. And then there should be at least one scene where they do something crazy, like something stupid. And they're like, why did you do that? Like another character that knows how to use magic is like, why did you do that? And then the guy's like, oh, I, I, uh, I, uh, uh, and then the cat is like, I taught him wrong, you know, as a joke. Cause I thought it would be funny. <laughs> I taught him wrong as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be funny. Kung Pao, let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, somebody can be like, you Kung Pao'd him, you motherfucker. <laughs> Why did you loosen the shackles of the god of cosmic unbeing? Just, just taking the piss, you know? <laughs> Okay, what else can we add? You store magic in your hat. So, so like a bigger hat means you have more magic, right? And and if you don't have a lot of magic, like if you're running low, you could use a smaller hat. But if you're going like absolutely armed to the teeth, you have like a massively huge hat, like a 50 gallon cowboy hat, right? Until you get to the level where you can create a space that's bigger on the inside than outside and then like your hat is could be normal size but it's like gigantic magic is stored in the hat exactly what do you think what if you want one of those comically impract oh i love those impractically small anime hats there's gonna be a scene where like there's a character that's a caster and they have a small hat but they learn the ability to create like a bag of holding type situation in their hat and they're actually cracked right it's like a free reign situation they're going free reign on your ass right where you think they've only got a eh, little, little tiny bit of magic but they have a fuck ton of magic right and then there's like a dog's dim dim dale dimsdale dog dimsdale of dogs dim dog dim, dogs dimsdale's dimidome situation with an absolutely gigantic hat it's like oh fuck don't fuck with that guy <laughs> he's trying you fucker that's my idea for uh a whimsical children's book what do you think a comically small infinite hat. <laughs> Sounds like a shonen anime. All right. I'll I'll keep cooking, all right? I'll keep cooking. Anyways, I think I'm going to call it there. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. <laughs> There's the fedora wizard who wields a katana. It's too good. And his magic just lets him go fast, right? Nothing personnel, kid. <laughs> Nothing personnel, kid. Oh, man, that would be such a funny character. All right. Oh. 
what should I do for the rest of the day? I kind of want to build my my sound panels. I don't know if that's a good idea though. I didn't tweet the I didn't tweet the fucking that's fine. Who cares? We're just hanging out. Ah. Crimbo? Yo, Girl DM's back. All right. Boom. <laughs> What's with the poop emoji? Tomorrow I'm going to do... All right, to Omina, tomorrow I'll draw your profile picture. People have been like fucking roasting me for not doing a, you know, the right thing. I'll I'll uh, I'll do your profile picture first thing tomorrow. What? YouTube, always a pleasure. You guys take care, okay? I'll see you guys. I'm either gonna play Goblin Stone or Dave the Diver on Saturday. One of those two. I don't know what. <laughs>